Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of DIY or Die, and today we're going to learn how to use a compression tester to do a compression test on a lawnmower. So let's get started here. You're going to need, obviously, a compression tester and the proper fitting for the spark, uh, spark plug threads. And you're going to need basic socket sets. So let's get started to taking apart this mower here. So I just got the mower tipped over like this. And as you can see right here, it's an overhead valve engine. It's actually good, but uh, this is the spark plug right here, this guy right there. So we just want to pull that off. And uh, in order to do that, it's kind of hard with one hand. Come on. You just give her a wiggle, and it should come off. All right, here we go. There's a spark plug right there. Just threads into the block of the engine. There's a spark plug. And let's get this thing going here. And sorry, that threads into the head, not the block. So, if you got a good socket set, you should have these guys. They look like this. Come in different sizes. Spark plug sockets. They got rubber inserts in the bottom right there. You probably can't see it. Uh, you can catch the ridge of that right there, but they basically grip onto the spark plug. That way you don't have to worry about if you're in an, an actual engine, a big one. When you're, you typically they're vertical, so when you put this on here and you screw it out, it'll fall in and then you'll have a hard time getting that out. But that's not the case. Anyways, so here we go. So this one's going to take your average, typical, this is standard for all mowers, 13 16th socket size. Fit it on there like that. Hammer it on because it's got the rubber insert on this. And go like this. And then uh, make sure, let I me. Mean, you should know what you're doing, but lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? You do not want to strip these out. It's not a fun time. It should come out pretty easy. If it's an old mower, this one doesn't look too old. I got it for free. If it's an old mower, um, sometimes you'll take quite a bit of force, but don't reef on the thing. Yeah, see, this is not a bad mower. Focus. Oh, come on, it's not focusing. There's a spark plug there. Not a bad spark plug. So that is your engine block right in there. And if you want, you can shine a light in there and look around. But to be honest, with these engines, just do a compression test. It's the easiest thing. And it looks like this is not the right size. So you just find the one that should do it. This one looks like it's about the thing. Uh, yeah. If you really want to make sure, you check it and you line it like that and you see there is no gap between the threads. It's a long one, not a short one like this one. So just switch them off here and it'll thread in and uh, let's, get, let's get this thing started. So you got that on there. You just take the end of your compression tester and you just thread it into the hole. Here we go guys, last few turns here. Just turn it by hand, just snake it in like this. I got a fairly nice compression tester so I can just and tighten it like that, and it should be, uh, should be enough of a seal right there. Even just hand tight, then you won't have to worry. It doesn't have to be super tight. All right, so let's get on to testing the compression of this lawnmower. Uh, so, actually, this is a not bad gauge. Some of them are pretty off in terms of the green, the, the so-called good ratings, but really anything 90 to 100 PSI over that, it's a pretty healthy engine. I've seen upwards of like basically 200 in these small engines, but uh, you can, you can, I can run them over fine on 60. Sure, it's not the greatest, but below 60, you're in, you're gonna have a hard time getting that mower to work properly and reliably. But yeah, I would say safe. For, uh, safe is like 80 and above. You can run it, not bad. And healthy is 100 plus. But uh, let's see the condition of this engine. So for this test, uh, I never have a specific amount of poles. I always just crank, or I just crank it over. Just uh, crank the engine over or pull it in this case, because it's a lawnmower, until the pressure uh, on that gauge there stops rising. So I'll be back once we give this a couple tugs and see where we're at. Here we go. Alrighty, we're back. Probably gave her five or six uh, tugs in the old pull start there. And that's a 90 right on the nose, basically a little bit under 90 psi. So 
this engine, she's got life left in her. And uh, of course, to re release pressure, the gauges have a little button on the side here. So just go, and the pressure's up. And then it's a simple matter, just unscrewing it like this. It can take a while, depending on how long the spark plug threads are, but there we are. And now you take this guy, which doesn't fall out because you got a spark plug socket. And you fit her in there like that. And before you start it, turn it the other way. You don't want to cross thread this. And there we have it. Perfect. Now here's an important trick I was taught. So because you don't want to strip a spark plug, and they can strip really easy, especially because you've got steel going onto aluminum, you always do the spark plug rule, which is that. <laughs> Give them the middle finger. But basically, you just take your hand and you put your middle finger like this around the, the, the socket, right? So that limits your torque because instead of getting to pull on a torque wrench and all this crap, you do this and you'll never be able to strip a socket again. So just do that. Pretty tight there, as hard as you can go. And that's good. That's all you need to do. Spark plugs in there, good. Take this guy here. Slam it back on there, give it a couple of hits. There we go. And then I'll show you guys that 90 PSI, what it looks like and how it runs when you start it. So uh, we'll be back here once we get outside and here we go. All right, here we go, we're outside here. I haven't even checked, I haven't started this thing yet, so uh, let's see. I know it'll start. That compression test determined that it would. Come on, filter. Okay, it does have an air filter. A little bit dirty, but it'll be fine. It'll live. All right. Uh, I did fill it up with gas, yes. And the oil. You should always check oil whenever, even if it's your own mower, not something you got out of an alley like this one. Always check the oil before you run them. Takes. 10 seconds and it'll save you upwards of $500 depending on your lawnmower. As you can see, it ran completely fine there. I even did, I do this test too. You just take the uh, pull bar there, or whatever you call it, the emergency bar. You cut it out, and then right before it's supposed to die, you squeeze it back on again. And if it catches, it's usually got good compression, and it's running good, and it is. However, I believe this thing was shaking enough to have a bent um, crank, so I'll have to check that underneath. Bent crank or bent blade, either way. That's that's compression test, and that shows you that 90 psi is more than enough to have a healthy mower. So yeah, that was the just recap in there. That was proven to you guys how to do compression test and what numbers are good, what numbers aren't good. We got plenty more coming up the pipeline here. We got plenty more projects, obviously, and we got this guy stole it from an alley. Stole it. I took it from a lady in this alley. She was getting rid of it, so. Bought some new batteries there, got those hooked up. We got some, it's a complete mess of the wiring here. Bypass the fuse just because, don't do that if you don't know what you're doing, but it does work, does run. I uh, gotta get a key switch there. The guy gouged apart this whole upper assembly in this resistor uh, throttle setup here. Speed controller is good, fixed all that. Motor is good, thankfully. Uh, tires are also good, these are run flats. Uh, so, yeah, this would be a good flip, probably sell it for a grand here. But uh, I'll show you that in the next video here. Anyways, see you guys later. Have a good one.